This new light is bright. What is going on guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to run through something that I've wanted to do for a while on this channel and that is talk about affordable alternatives or affordable clothing in general. That was the main focus for this channel from the very beginning and I wanted to kind of develop the channel first before I kind of bring that into it a lot more. So I expect to see a lot more videos that kind of compare more expensive items with cheaper affordable alternatives and sort of avoiding bigger brands like Supreme and Palace and talking about high street brands like Topman, H&M, Urban Outfitters and how they can affect your streetwear wardrobe. I'm gonna try and do these as often as possible because they're really fun to make as well. And it's cool to find little cool steals and like affordable pieces of streetwear that you can incorporate into your wardrobe. Admittedly, a lot of them will be basic pieces, but they are very adaptable to pretty much any style and any outfit that you want to bring them into. I am currently in a bit of a different background as well. Um, I basically recorded this at university and left my SD card there. So I've got to re-record the entire thing again. I'm at my girlfriend's house using her lighting. She used to do like makeup YouTube, so I've got a good lighting set up today and I really like it, so it, it's good. But getting into the video, we've got two items today and one of them you've seen before and the other one is a brand new item. I will show a few on body like fits as well and discuss how I would style them. The first item is the tactical belt that I showed in my latest pickups video. This is it again, it's the in the U, that tactical belt. belt. It's from eBay, it costs 15 pounds and it's kind of like an affordable alternative to the Elite Studio roller coaster belt. Of course that Elite Studio belt is heavily inspired by roller coasters like seat belts and the way you're strapped in. Although I think it's literally just taken massive influence from any tactical belt and just enlarged it and called it a roller coaster belt. I get why it's done that and I obviously see there's a link between roller coaster belts and tactical belts. So I get it, but I think this is a lot better version. I have a friend that has the Elite Studio belt and he says that he struggles to actually get it around his belt loops. It's really difficult and I've seen a lot of people online struggling to do it. I think Kyron Warwick actually made a video about how to actually put on the belt properly and get it through the belt loops. I haven't watched that because I don't own it because I have this one, which is 20 times better. The good thing about this one compared to the Elite Studio one is I don't think you can actually take out the belt from the um, one of the sides of it. So it literally just, like every tactical belt, it comes off like so and these little clips kind of just come back in and they go back in really easily. It helps because these aren't stupid big and they don't look chunky, but it kind of has a, it's a good enough size to make it recognizable in an outfit. And if you want to add a little bit more flair to the piece, this is a good way to do it. Now, the reason why this is so much better than the Elite Studio belt is because you can actually take out the belt. belt. When putting it on, you can just literally unscrew that, take that round, feed this through your belt really easily. And then when you've done and got it round, I just take this off, re-loop it to like and kind of guess where I want it to go, put it back in and then clip it back together. Really easy, really cool and it looks great with a white t-shirt tucked in or a black t-shirt tucked in or pretty much any t-shirt. I'd kind of stick with white and black. If you've got graphics on there, it's kind of cool, emphasizes the belt a little bit more, especially if it's tucked in because you will see the belt and it kind of brings the attention towards it. People don't typically tuck in their t-shirts in everyday wear, so to see people tuck it in kind of accentuates the details on the belt. This cost me, well, I got it as a gift, as I said, but I think this was about 15 pounds on eBay. You can get them anywhere from pretty much any military surplus store. So places like Military First do them, but they have a bit of a wider price range. So you can spend anywhere from 80 pounds to 10 pounds on it. It just depends on how, like what kind of grade quality that you want and the looks that you want. I think a really good tactical belt is definitely the Helicon Cobra. That's for 30 pounds on Military First. And I think they do a 40 pound version as well. Just a little bit more chunky but that's the one that kind of originally caught my attention and then I found this online on eBay. You can find these on eBay and Amazon as well, which is really good. But there should be some military surplus stores around. There must be one somewhere. They probably do stock these, so go check them out, see what they are. It's pretty much one size fits all and they do have a like little elastic band that goes around on the outside here. I took mine off because I kind of wanted the belt to kind of drape down and fold over on itself like this when I wear it. Kind of like the off-white belt because I kind of like how that looks and it looks really cool when it dangles down. But yeah, that's the first item, which is the tactical belt. belt. Next up is a pair of trousers. These actually only cost me 10 pounds. Yeah, that is correct, 10 pounds, including free postage. In fact, they cost me 8 pound 95, but it's 10 quid basically, or $10 if you're in the US. So I've seen a lot of videos recently about chef trousers. Uh, Gear Towards Gear did a video about a year ago about a couple of pairs and a few months ago, he did an updated version because he found a new pair. And I thought, oh, I'll have a look on them. Like I wanted a pair of belt loops. I found them, they were 11 pounds. But then I found these. These are eight pound 95, as I just said before. And I just think these are brilliant. Uh, I really highly suggest getting into them. If you are looking for a pair of black, black trousers, this is the best place to go. So these are them here. You can't really see because it's just 
It's a black trouser, I guess. The only drawback I have with these and the only issue is that they are like an elastic waistband, which means they do have drawstrings, which is a bit of a pain, but you can live with it. And for the price you're paying, it's not a huge issue. Another small issue, but I actually kind of like it, is that it only has one back pocket here, which is kind of sewn onto the like fabric. Unlike a pair of Dickies where it's kind of like sewn into the fabric with a little slit, these are like, there's just one pocket on the back. It's used for what, like chefs when they put like thermometers in their back pocket, because I, I, I guess that's what you put in there if you're a chef. Also it has two side pockets here, which are just like every other trouser in the world. And they're just white lined, like pretty much every trouser. As far as when it comes to fit, these are more like an 874 dicky. They're a bit wider. I wouldn't say the quality is up there with dickies. However, it's kind of like in between like an ASOS trouser and a dicky. It's higher quality than an ASOS trouser because obviously it is proper workwear and it, it's rugged stuff, it's not gonna break on you. It definitely has the fit of an 874, and I think if you wash it, it'll probably go down to like an 873, 874 fit. They are very, very wide, and they're very drapey, which means you can drape them over shoes, especially Air Forces, they look great with, and I've tried that before. Oh, uh, if you're like me, I do like to roll them up once or twice, like some thick cuffs here, you can see they're quite thick, and kind of just sits above the shoe because they are quite a bit long. I think they're a 31 inch inseam, so then, unlike a regular 30 or a 32, you, you, it's kind of in between. So you do get a nice drape that's not ridiculously heavy and you can cuff them to a reasonable height. We could crop them. I mean, you could cut these off and sew them and they look amazing. But it did take a time for me to get used to the fit because I really do, I haven't really had trousers this wide apart from my camo cargos. They, then again, you can just tie those at the bottom and I do roll those up as well. But it's a really nice fit and I love it. I'm really want to get a few more pairs of these they do come in pretty much every single color including a few patterns obviously the classic checkerboard chef trouser and like a stripe as well which is also another classic like chef uniform piece so yeah that's how they look they're really really comfy as well i think they're 65 percent polyester yeah 65 percent polyester and 35 percent cotton they're a size small uh it does these are really small i think it's got like a 26 waist here when you stretch it goes to a 32 and then with the drawstring obviously you can adjust it like a belt and it, they're really comfortable to wear very very comfy very thin great for like the upcoming months especially spring and summer if you are looking for like a trouser and um, they'll probably fade a little bit but when you're paying nine quid for a pair of trousers you, you, they're a bit more dispensable unlike a pair of dickies where you pay 40 pounds and wash them twice and then they're gray these you can wear them to death wash them once they'll probably go a little bit fade again wash them twice same amount of times as dickies they'll go gray and you've spent a quarter of the price so you can get three more pairs in the same time that you've paid for one dicky. quick maths. Definitely a good piece to pick up, I'll leave a link in the description. And yeah, just Google and them, and you can find them anywhere, like workwear stores, probably, eBay, Amazon, everywhere. This is the Chef Trouser, and I love it to pieces. Belt. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been my first kind of episode or edition of me doing affordable alternatives. It's something that I've wanted to do for a long time, as I said earlier and it's just something that I want to center my channel around is more affordable streetwear and not focus on the ridiculous high-end hype beast sort of stuff that everyone else seems to be doing. Of course, I would cover that as well because a lot of it is very good as I did in the Supreme Undercover collaboration video because that's just a collaboration I'm interested in and it kind of brings in the affordability of Undercover because it kind of lowers the price a little bit more. I'm still trying to reach 200 subscribers, so if we can get there by the end of March, I will love you forever and ever. I'm trying to maintain my, of course, two videos a week as well. Um, next week will be a little bit more like rushed because I have a few assessments next week, especially university, and I'm directing a short TV show. I'm debating whether to vlog that or not. I might, I might not, because it's a very hectic day. I think it's like nine or 10 till five in the afternoon, nonstop. So it's a lot of work and we've worked really hard on it. And I just don't want to mess it up for everyone else. So I probably will leave the camera at home, but I will try and get as much footage as I can because we do have runners on set that will be taking videos and photos from the day. Anyway, please leave a like and leave a comment down in the description of any affordable alternatives that you found. Because I love finding affordable alternatives, it's a great thing to do. I like experimenting with a few things as well. So just finding new stuff and seeing how they look is always a plus. And if you don't like them, you can pretty much send them back 95% of the time. So win-win. I'll see you guys in the next video on Wednesday. See you later. Belt. Oh my God, I forgot. I got a really cool pickup. So, a couple of videos ago, I showed you my um, live cop as well. So I thought I'd just chuck this in at the end because it's kind of cool. And if anyone's watching this, you, you've made it this far, so you might as well see. Uh, I actually ended up getting the NBA Supreme Nike jacket. This is the jacket here. It's obviously got the Bulls logo up here, all embroidered. 
and the Knicks jacket, Knicks logo as well, as well as the Cavaliers down there. On the bottom, you've got Miami Heat, the Detroit Pistons, Toronto Raptors, and they finally got this box logo, okay? And this box logo looks really suspect, and I don't know why, but it looks fake, and a lot of people have said this. There's just something about it that doesn't look right, and I, I've seen box, box logo hoodies and embroidered stuff before, and it just doesn't match up, and it's really weird. So, that's my opinions on that. I've sold it now, so I don't really care about it. I mean, I'm not never gonna wear it, it's not really my style, but it's just interesting to see. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll finish up now because this is, yeah. It's an excuse to get the video over 10 minutes.